Do you think the birds will really like this? Are you kidding? A three-story house, a year's supply of groceries, they're gonna flock here. Hey, look at here. What a great cat feeder. It's a bird feeder. That's what you think. <laughs> He's had enough of that stuff. Don't give him any more. Make his legs soggy. Look at this. They're gonna tear down the old Tomahawk drive-in and put in a health club. Huh? The largest indoor workout facility in the state. I guess they never looked inside one of those minivans during the movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you only laugh at your own jokes. I thought that was funny. <laughs> he didn't get it. <laughs> How come you never take us to the drive-in? It's very simple. Drive-in has a curse on it. Your grandmother and I were there about 15 years ago. She's a very simple woman. And, uh, I don't know, she had problems with her insides or something, and she had to... She had to go for popcorn more often than she usually goes. <laughs> And um, this one time she got out, and I, I guess the people had stopped necking and kissing, which kids do, you know, in those cars. At least they did in those days. And uh, there was a huge shadow. She had gotten in front of the projectionist. <laughs> and the people left in hordes. <laughs> it's just your grandmother. <laughs> I left myself. I... Well, good morning, Senator. Good morning. What are you all dressed up for? We don't have assembly. Ben's a big shot now. They made me hall monitor. Gee, there's a big deal. Hall monitor, huh? I'm the official keeper of the hall pass. It's a dinosaur finger. You can't leave the room without this, and you can't get this without me. Well, that's great, Ben. Give me five. Give me 10. Give me 15. 15, 20, OK. Go look, go look. Give me. Get over here. The boy has just been made an officer. I think that we have to show you something an officer would do. Stand at attention. You look good in that suit, by the way. Okay? Salute! What is this? You're not visiting another planet. <laughs> this isn't looking at one of your little classmates. Hi, Manny. How are you? Keep your fingers together. Huh. Oh, put the eye out. <laughs> Going to a drive-in would be really romantic. Not this drive-in. Place is cursed. People used to drive in and never drive out. Sometimes whole families. Yeah, right. And what did they do with the bodies? No one knows, but for a while there, the hot dogs were tasting pretty strange. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a guy who lives on top of the sign? He escaped from prison. Man, how can you guys believe all that junk? Because it's true. One of his eyes is just this dark, empty hole. Debbie, get real. 
You can't stay alive with the hole in your head. If it rains, your brain gets wet and you die. Well, someone does live there. He used to be the projectionist. But now he just sits around and drinks whiskey and listens to records by a man named Jerry Vale. That's definitely true. Robbie's grandpa told us that. Robbie's grandpa? He's probably this guy's best friend. Hey, Grandpa's nuts, but he's not crazy. And he says the driving is bad news. Hi, 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 hi. I say we go there before they tear it down. Oh, with some murder running around? I'll pass. Hey, Robbie and I'll go over there right now. No, thanks. I'd like to live to see my braces come off. Go on, Rob. Oh, you can bring Devin me souvenirs. Like what? Some stiff clutching onto a bag of popcorn? No. Light bulbs from the sun. Guys used to do stuff like this for their girlfriends, but I guess they don't anymore. What do you say, Rob? Mary, it's 5 o'clock. Now, why didn't you tell me this earlier? Because you would have gotten mad earlier. I have to be with my mother. But this is poker. Does your mom play, huh? I'm just trying to work this out. She's 90 and she's arthritic. Well, she doesn't have to deal. <laughs> she can pass a deal. I'm just gonna say two words. Higgins and Yamagami. Higgins and Yamagami what? Play poker, especially Carol. Carol is a shark. True, when she gets a good cut, her eyes roll back in her head. <laughs> Must make it tough for her to bluff. When do you guys play poker, and how come I'm never invited? Men ruin a poker game. It becomes a game of macho as opposed to a game of thought and finesse. Well, I can thought and finesse with any woman. What kind of stakes do you girls play for, huh? Nickels? Dimes? Huh? <laughs> come on. <laughs> Seriously, how come I'm never invited, huh? <laughs> Gotta be kidding. What is happening here? Mr. Hotshot Home Monitor lost his dinosaur finger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when that's me, him or you. Uh. <laughs> what do you think I should do, Grandpa? Run away? No. Tell the truth? No, you don't want to tell the truth. Uh, <laughs> not right away. I. That's. Kind of a last resort. Uh, got to replace that bone. Got to replace the bone. I think what you got to do is your little friends kind of look around the various yards around here in the neighborhood for animal limbs. I'll tell you something you might do, and I can run you over to Donaldsville. There's a big pet cemetery over there. About 275 cats and dogs. Now, you don't bother their graves, you understand? Over in the corner, there's a big, big, grassy hump like that, and there's a donkey in there. <laughs> you want to get yourself a big bone. <laughs> oh, <boy>. Yes! <laughs> I tell you, Mike, it's gonna get pretty rowdy tonight. It's gonna be poker the way it was meant to be played. Down and dirty. Just you, me, Gunny, Cosmo, Elaine, and Carol. <laughs> you know who I like, Dwight? I like Elaine, that Chinese woman. She's Japanese. She's very warm. Does she know I own my own business? What difference does it make? Huh? Just relax, be yourself. Dwight, I think I know how to act around women. I've been single for 38 years. You're right, Mike. What, what was I thinking of? Plus, I meet a lot of women at my driving school, but you can't date your students. You know this. We're both teachers. And we're both local celebrities. I mean, you're the principal, and I'm Mike's you auto drive. Hey, Mr. D, how you doing? 
Uh, great, Mike. And yourself? Good. Mmm. <laughs> Just a minute, Mike. Let's put some of them back, okay? Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Touched all of them. I don't know where he's been. You know, these little funky sandwiches, Dwight, I'm sorry. They've just got to go. I need a, I need a manly sandwich for this poker game. I need a submarine job, you know. Mm. Okay, Dad, well, as soon as we clean the ladies out and they go home, we'll just lower a huge side of beef from the ceiling and have ourselves a feeding frenzy. <laughs> Don't you ever touch me again. He's full of bananas, man. Well, They're all stored here in the attic. He's out to lunch. Takes one to know one. Oh, look here. Well, I see Van Gogh. You're the one who took the bone. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what we do to guys that are thieves? Look at the fire. Huh? Isn't that neat? Everything goes except the glass eyes. <laughs> One, two. Come on, Regal, you're almost there. Just don't look down. Don't worry, I'm not. Wow. We are really high up here. Man, it's a good thing we didn't slip on that ladder. We'd be dead. Yeah, but it'll be much easier climbing down, won't it? Save the drive-in! Think we could see Debbie Kessler's house from here? Hey, Debbie! Hey, Alice! Still think this place is cursed? Nah, but it's pretty creepy. Yeah. Robbie. Imagine them finding us up here like this. What was that? What was what? I think there's someone else coming up the ladder. Hey, Robbie, I'm stuck. Come on, Regal, I was just fooling around. I'm stuck, really. Get me out of here. Come on, Regal, stop kidding around. I'm not, I'm stuck, really. Maybe I should call the fire department. No way, man. You ain't leaving me alone up here. Not with that one-eyed guy around. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. Amazing, isn't it? It's like it has a life of its own. Could you teach me that? <laughs> Could we play poker? Not with this hand. Mm. Let's see him. Ace to full. Ace to full? I got three tens. I got a seven low. You and me, Elaine. You and I. Oh, that's right. You and I. You lose. I win. <laughs> awesome. Dad, have you seen Van Gogh? Yeah, yeah, I thought I saw him Van Gogh into the kitchen with Grandpa. <laughs> oh, boy. Did Mike do the thing with his tongue yet? Yes. <laughs> Mike, how tall are you? If you roll a Buick Skylark over on its side, I'm right even with a hubcap. So you are mid sides. <laughs> All right, five stud, high only, no bites. Ah, uh, yeah, a man's game. You gonna ante? Are you waiting for the dollar to drop? <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I fold. I'm I fold. <laughs> okay, Grandpa. What do you do with Van Gogh? Uh, sit down. I uh, I think Van Gogh is 
Or at least he was uh, taking a little dirt nap. You buried him? For a comparatively short time. Uh, I had to get the bone out. He swallowed uh, Ben's bone, and um, so I, I took the bone, gave that back to Ben, and then I got to looking at the dummy, and uh, <laughs> Van Gogh, I'm sorry. And uh, I thought, you know, uh, maybe I just sort of take him away from you for a little penalty, you know, for a while. He'd been bad. And so I uh, kind of gave him Van Gogh, too. <laughs> it's what we call a, a payback. <laughs> Right, man. This place is cursed. Yeah, well, you're the idiot who wanted to come up here. All right. Let's try this. Ow! Hey! It's no use, Rigo. Robbie, you better get me out of here before I get electrocuted. You can't get electrocuted. The lights aren't on. Come on! Ow! Sorry. Robbie, wait. You've got to listen to me. You've got to hear my confession. I don't think I should. I'm sorry I called my little sister a toad face. I'm sorry I wrote in my textbooks. And also, I drank milk out of a carton at the Food King and put it back. <laughs> I'm scared, Robbie. I'm not going to let you die alone. <laughs> Are we dead? No. But you're still stuck. I'm out. Me too. Wait, you're folding with two aces? Sure, Dwight. I'd be glad to get you a soda. You see, this is what happens when you invite women to play poker. Like it's Elaine's fault that Mike folds a great ham so he can follow her into the kitchen like a puppy? Yes, yes it is, you know. And it's your fault that I'm not eating garlic chips tonight because I like garlic chips, and if you weren't here, I wouldn't care how bad my breath was. There are no garlic chips left. I finished them. I fold. What is this, the dating game? Let's play cards. A buck to you, Gunny. Okay, there's a buck and a raise it a buck. Four eights, read them, and weep. <laughs> Not enough. How about this? One king, two kings, three kings, four, and five. Five kings. <laughs> yeah. You lost. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, could you please answer the door? I'm gambling. I'd love to. Uh, hi, Miss Shergan. Hi. What are you doing here? Oh, Gunny lets me play with Dwight on the weekends. Cut him. Hello, girls. Is Robbie here? No, no, I thought Robbie was with you guys in uh, Rigo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? Man, I feel like a pop tart. Shut up, Rigo. All right, let's give it one more try. This might hurt. Just do it. <laughs> you saved my life, Robbie. You have no life. That's why you're up here getting stuck in a sign. Listen, I think there's someone trying to come up the ladder. Get it out, Robbie. I'm not kidding. Listen. Uh... Whoever's down there, we're heavily armed. I'm warning you, mister. This guy's father's the principal. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jerry Hale. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? 
Rob, I've told you 20 times not to come up here. It's dangerous. It's stupid to come up here. Hey, Dwight, check this out. Our initials. 1965, remember? You guys used to come up here? Yeah, we were... We were idiots in 65. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in 65, we were, we were pretty dumb. In the 66, we were just plain stupid. How come you guys used to come up here? Yeah. I told my girlfriend that I'd uh, get her a light bulb from the sign. Yeah, Stephanie Cook. You got her the light bulb and she gave it to Billy Windsor. I tell you, Dwight, those two deserved each other. Uh, well, I'm okay about it now. Let me tell you something, Mr. D. Girls are just weird. Yeah, I guess so. Well, come on, you guys. Let's, let's get home, huh? Hey, Dwight. That beer can. Think you can hit it? <laughs> no, no, look, you gotta play the win. Look. <sighs> oh, man! <laughs> A lot of practice. I just can't believe it. I, I mean, for a little kid or something, but a man your size, a man your age, I mean, your background, everything else, going up on the top of that sign, are you out of your mind? You could have fallen, broken every bone in your body. You're grounded. Well, you're certainly not. <laughs> okay, okay, Dwight. I'm telling you, you know, your mom and I... Years ago, went up on that sign. Of course, we were kids. We were young. We were out of high school. We didn't know what we were doing. We crawled up there, sat there on the edge, and I'd say, you know, there's some enemy aircraft up there. Look up there. Look up there. And of course, she'd look up there. <laughs> uh, she wasn't all there. She's like you, you know. <laughs> missing a few, missing a few, but... Uh, enemy aircraft. Is that what he's... Maybe I can lure Cosmo up there with that one. Enemy aircraft. No, no. Don't talk about luring her any place. Walk around in back of the sign and just hope that you get lucky. <laughs>